Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Enter the Gungeon. Uh, super disappointed with the last run, but you know what? I'm gonna use that disappointment. I'm gonna use it to fuel me the same way losing the 2015 NBA Championship to the Golden State Warriors fueled the fire for the 2016 Cleveland Cavaliers to win the NBA champ. Look, the game just ended. I didn't watch it, but I went to Twitter as I am wont to do in between videos. And um, everyone was just posting pictures of Steph Curry with Michael Jordan's crying face photoshopped on top of it. So, I mean, I'm not going to act like, oh, I've been a lifelong Cleveland fan. It's, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to talk about current events. It's good for uh, virality, you know, in terms of your videos. So let's um, talk about some other current events here. What recently happened in the world today? Well, you know what? The top of the charts right now is Aerosmith's song, Living on the Edge. There's something wrong with the world today. Everybody knows what is. There's when a man goes to the deadly. And, the, you know, the whole punchline there, which I'm going to pull back the curtain because I don't feel like making up the song for the rest of it was going to be that he ordered more than one kind of meat. Uh, more than two kinds of meat. In fact, the twist was going to be at the end. It was going to get Shyamalan. And, um... I found that a little a little too much, a little not okay, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so what's the secret for robot? Don't take damage. Like, this, the foundation of the robot, in my, I mean, this is rich coming from a person who's never actually beaten uh, any of the fucking uh, things as the robot, except for the dragon. But, um, I'm, I'm, in my opinion, at least, the way that we're going to end up defeating the, uh, the, the robot challenges more so than with any other character, hinges on not taking as much dumb damage. Inevitably, you're gonna take stupid damage, you know? No matter, you could be the world's best driver, sometimes you're gonna mess up, you're gonna cut someone off, you're gonna forget the signal. You know, it's the same way in Gungeon. Even Austin falls down pits sometimes. Strong men also cry, Mr. Lebowski. Strong men also cry. I am gonna open this blue chest. It's an HP up literally does nothing for us. I could not be more disappointed. It's... I mean, I'm not sure if it's a bug or what. I feel like if the Flawless gives you an armor up, the lunchbox should at least translate to an armor up as well. Now I'm gonna shoot the other, uh, the other chest here, because the other chest is liable to only contain, um, a gun. Well, it, it's guaranteed to only contain a gun. So there's no point in us really picking it up in my opinion, especially a brown level gun. What this means is that instead of getting a brown level gun, or whatever, the, however chest weighting works, maybe it just makes it more likely to be a shitty gun, but anyway, instead of getting what is likely to be a shitty gun, we're now guaranteed to get a gun from the boss fight. Is there a guarantee it won't be shitty? No, no, of course not. It could still be absolute trash. However, um, you can't really get worse than a brown level chest. So I think that this was the right decision regardless. And I'm trying to take advantage more of the um, of, of that sort of metagame. If you'll excuse me, I'd really like to flawless this. Um, take advantage of that sort of metagame. It's not really a metagame, it's, it's just the game. Uh, of, of trying to make sure that we're maximizing our, our expected value, you know? If you only get to open three packs of Magic the Gathering, but they're coming in free, you know, you want those Eternal Masters packs. You don't want to get, you know, Battle for Zendikar. Everyone and their dog opened 100 booster boxes trying to get expeditions, right? Just, just say right. If you don't know magic, just... Am I right? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. The whole point is the analogy. So far? Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I was going to say so far, so good. Let's wait it out. Let's see. Okay, we beat the boss. We didn't flawless it. Net change of, uh, well, one armor, but effectively two versus what we'd be like if we got hit. So that's good. No armor from the boss. That sucks. And actually, the Molotov gun is a weird gun to get here. Because I can't really use it to help me find secret rooms. We do have 112 goddamn credits. Where did that come from? Uh, I think we should buy armor, of course. There is armor for sale. Gas mask. I don't know if immunity to poison is that valuable right now. No secret room there, but that's alright. I bought the armor, I bought the key. I'm gonna sell the heart container. 
Wow, uh, that's 30 credits. You know what? Let's swap the hard container for the gas mask. It, I mean, I, I had to throw in five, a little bit of a tilt factor myself to make it work. I think it was worth it though. Um, I can't really complain. Let's let's move along here. Uh, we'll head down to the next floor. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. Gained an ar gained two armor. Good money. Immunity to poison. Do we have a good gun? Not fully, but I have to admit that the um, that the Molotov launcher is actually a lot better than I'd previously given it credit for. Um, it's not going to be an ideal choice on, on every room down here, but if we're dealing with big enemies, you throw a Molotov at their feet, ping them a couple of times with the default pistol, they're done. It's going to be a nice support weapon for boss fights for sure, but uh, I don't think that... Um, I don't think that this is bad. In fact, I think the Molotov gun is actually a, a relatively solid pickup uh, as, as far as weapons go this early in the game. And there's an example of that right there. Um, there's no way for us to get that blank. Just You might as well just imagine that it's gone. Because it is gone. It would cost... Well, we'd never get it, for one. But even if we could... Well, no, it, 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 it doesn't just... It doesn't make any sense. It's like, even if we could, it would cost us a blank. No, it didn't. We just actually cannot get it. The rat can get it because he has supernatural powers. Green chest is worth opening. We get the stinger. Unbelievably good boss killing weapon. Ain't nothing wrong with the stinger. Throw a little Molotov launcher at their feet and then just sting them till they die. Especially for the second, hopefully third level boss. That should be enough to give us a real... Oh my god, I didn't even see that bullet coming in. Which is stupid because that enemy has an obvious tell. Um, but that should be enough to give us a great chance of getting the flawless. Not crazy disappointed. With that damage, um, again, you know, even the even the best driver is gonna gonna cut some people off sometimes. Who's the best driver? You know what the problem with today's world is, and now the world forever. Everybody in the audience just said yes. I, you know, you expect me to go on some rants here, maybe about driving. I don't really have any. I mean, like, I I complain about Vancouver drivers all the time. In videos, but when I was in LA for E3, first off, the traffic is ridiculous. I know if you're from Los Angeles, you're probably like, yeah, the traffic's ridiculous, whatever. I don't know why it gave me this accent, but sure, maybe I could be a Brooklyn transplant who's living in LA. Hey, the traffic's bad, get over it, right? But, um, oh, excuse me. We haven't been to the shop yet, so we can leave that key behind. I think we should just go for this here. The traffic is actually outrageous. Like, it's, it's, it's horrible. The Molotov launcher, I don't think there's anything for us here. And it's not just horrible in the sense like, oh, the traffic's pretty bad. No, the traffic is actually, it's heinous. It's the worst traffic, like a, a made, oh my lord. We missed. Or we, we got hit, I should say. I'd go so far as to say, look, I'm not insulting Los Angeles. There's plenty of things Vancouver should be ashamed of. The downtown east side is in shambles. All right, but a major city should be embarrassed to have traffic that bad. It should be something that people like leave the city for, which it, it may indeed be. Um, B, get it? Because I'm using bees here. Ha ha ha! I'm just trying to cover up the fact that I took damage like an idiot. Um, but man, also people were cutting everybody. I was cutting each other off. Hey, fuck you! I gotta get to the you know Kroger before it closes. It doesn't close for eight hours, but because of the traffic right now, that might be you know. Unfortunately, as long as it actually takes to get there, like, you gotta, everyone's got to treat each other a little better, man. Oh, every time we use our active item, we get a blank. Every time we use our active item, we get a blank. Triggers a blank on active item use. This is huge. Because the item that we have can be used all the time. And it already is a pretty good active item. To then give it a little bit of extra, you know little je ne sais quoi on top is fantastic. Now, there are shades of the last run in here already. Like, I'm extremely disappointed we didn't flawless that boss. I'll just tell you that straight up. That sucks. Um, I'll tell you that straight up, but I'm also, I'm very hopeful of how this can work out here. You might say, well, your HP is like even worse than it was at this point last time. Uh, it's roughly the same, actually, if my memory serves, but uh, you want to have a real argument here? You just want to prove your points. This is what I mean. we got to treat each other with more respect than that. But anyway, um, we have a better suite of items, although we had the awesome blank synergy on the last run. Uh, and we also got two armor from our first boss on the last run. So, even though we didn't flawless the first boss, oh, that was real dumb. 
we did get two armor uh, just for beating it. So I'm not going to be too bent out of shape over our existing armor setup, although now I might be. That looks like a secret room to me. Oh, armor, please. Uh, not armor. It's actually just a chest. But we can buy a key, and we got another key coming. The club is bad. Work with me. Mm, the shot bow. It's not very good. What is this then? We don't right. We have to go back and actually get the key. That's me being a little bit of a silly vanilla there. Gonna have five armor in all likelihood for the next floor. How does that make me feel? It makes me scared. I'll be honest with you about my emotions. It makes makes me a little frightened. But I think we can come out of this. And um, you know, bullet idle. It's not very good. In fact, I think, in all honesty, it's relatively bad. But they always, they charge out the nose for it every, hold up, have I been to every room? No. They charge out the nose for it every time. That's what gets me. It's like, whenever you get to buy Bullet Idol or Vengeful Idol, Vengeful Spear, whatever it's called. Probably not Vengeful Spear, that's a, that's a Dota character. They're always like... You know, this is like 80 credits or like four keys or something. You're like, it's not, this is not worth four keys, come on. But what I will say is that I, there's a chance I could be mistaken. Because I, previously I thought like the convict, you know, that what's the special ability with a convict? Oh, well, you know, you get a little bit of a damage buff when you hit enemies. Apparently the damage buff is nuts and I've never given it enough credit. Maybe that's the same thing with Vengeful Idol here. You know, maybe it's actually amazing and I'm just not giving it it's it's just desserts or it's it's just dues or it's just cause three for that matter all right I'm glad I came down here I would like to play this game and win something sure let's do this good yeah you broke some blocks you went with your instincts can't complain oh you sh that's how we got. Okay, we can still get three. Oh, I did it. Okay, three. Green chest. I'll live with it. And we get uh, the Magnum. Not bad. I might start using it on the next floor. Yeah, well, you know what? We're in kind of a position in which we should start to emphasize our, our power, I think. Given that my armor is unfortunately lower than I'd like. So let's let's accept this. We have some good defensive uh, things going for us right now. I hope my tone of voice doesn't make you think that I've given up on this run. I've not given up on this run. It hasn't gone perfectly so far. You think uh, Stephen Hawking's life went perfectly? No, man. And, you know, maybe you could argue that having, like, a horrible degenerative disease that... You know, usually kills people before their 18th birthday is not quite the same thing as taking a little bit of damage in a video game. But I would say that that's selfish, good sir, because you don't know how this is. A, no, I'm just joking. Obviously, it's a, it's a terrible comparison to make. Um, but but I think in in spirit, my message hopefully gets across and isn't completely tone deaf. You know, the setbacks they're important in life. Everybody wants everything to go perfectly all the time. I'm the same way. You never want to... Oh, that's so bad! That one hurts. You remember what I was saying about setbacks? No, fuck them. Setbacks suck. I'm sorry I tried to get on my own butt there again. Teach a moral lesson. The game has punished me thusly, and I, uh, to be honest with you, I think I deserved it. Do everything perfectly the first time, and then you'll never have to... You'll never have to face criticism. Let's do it. No, but I really do believe... You know, I think that's how you learn, man. I don't want to bring everything back to computer programming because honestly, I'm still a fairly novice level programmer, depending on what you consider to be novice. Like, you know, the so quantum leaps ahead of Hello World, but still, let's go for the boss fight. This is our chance to redeem ourselves here, and we want Stinger as our alternate weapon. Um, you know, the, the things that I remember in programming, like the nomenclature in particular, is stuff that I've written wrong like 50 times. Like, in C sharp, this is gonna be a little inside baseball here. In C sharp, I never have to worry about how to, you know, remember the nomenclature to make a dictionary. Because I've mistakenly crafted dictionaries improperly like a hundred times. Now I just know right off the bat. But sometimes I have to Google and be like, what's the 
you know, if I want to make a struct, what's the terminology for that? Like, how do I set that up relative to a class, etc., etc.? Why do I tell you this incredibly boring story? Just to illustrate the value of making mistakes, you know? I think... I think the world would be a better place if, starting in, like, sixth grade, your average mark was, like, 40%. You know why I say that? It's because I think that that's an accurate representation of what the real world is like most of the time. You know, I, I think, oh god, people are ashamed to, to say that they don't know what's, uh, to, to, to say that they don't know what they're doing. When that's actually very dangerous, I think, to, to be ashamed to admit ignorance. You know, ignorance in itself is not a bad thing. What is a bad thing is, like, willful ignorance, or ignorance that comes with confidence. That's the dangerous part. Should always be- oh, that's so good. <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you. Should always be wary of the guy who knows nothing, but doesn't want to tell you he knows nothing. Well, you can't get that hegemony credit. I'm the guy who knows nothing, and, and will tell you he, he knows nothing, which is, I think, much better. Alright, so what's our situation now? We have the greatest room clearer that money can buy. Well, probably not- true from a literal standpoint, but we have a great room clearer. Let's just leave it at that. We also have Blank Companion's Ring, which really means any time we find ourselves even slightly perturbed by a room, pop it. You know, we generate it pretty darn quickly. It also means that um, we can find secret rooms much more easily, which is something that I, it only dawned on me essentially as I walked into that room right there. Uh, and, and, of course, what I mean by that is, it dawned on me as I walked through the valley of the shadow of death and took a look at my life and realized there's nothing left. Coolio? That's tough. That's a tough call. Using a key to get into your shop? I mean, we can get... armor as a result of it. Is armor valuable for us? It doesn't matter. Does the Pope shit in the woods? The answer to that question is yes. If he has to. And I would say that armor is valuable for us in exactly the same way. Through some mechanism that makes no sense to me at the present moment, but perhaps in the future will. I felt like maybe that could have been a secret room, so I figured, you know, why not throw it at the wall and see what sticks, you know? And other such vague business-related principles, you know, we all gotta go out there, give 110%, you know, we just gotta see who wants it more. Oy. You know, I, I don't blame athletes for this. Oh, that's so good. Because if you're an athlete, what's your, what's your job? For the most part, you know, score points in whatever your game is, don't get arrested. Ideally, that's, those are pretty much the two things you got, well, that's not fair, because, you know, well, excuse me, so what is a goaltender score points? Well, technically, no, okay, I guess you got, anyway. Let's try this out. All right, icebreaker. It's okay. We have no keys, so I guess we've made our decision for ourselves. We're not going to the shop, unless we get something down here. But, um, athletes, they give the worst interviews most of the time, man. Hey, uh, great period out of there, Chicago Blackhawks. We got Captain Jonathan Taves with us. Uh, Jonathan... What did you think when the Avalanche came out in that period? Oh, you know, they've had an extra night of rest. Um, you know, they got fresh legs. We're a little tired. We've been on the road. You know, it's the same shit every time. Yep, you know, we've been... Just got to believe in what Coach tells us. Uh, give 110%. We're just going to go out there, do our thing, play our game. They're going to play their game. We're each going to play each other's games, which is also the same game that you're watching presently in front of you right now. Oh, thank God. Like, it's... It's... It's boring. <sighs> It's gonna be a passive, I think, so I gotta... What is the crutch? Extra speed? You need it. Is it the extra aim that I already get from the controller? Adds aim assist of a sword. I, I'll take it over the shop, honestly. The shop could have been great, though. We could have gotten extra armor out of it, but still. Um, like, I just... And I say this, but I know why they don't do it. Because if, you if you're an athlete, why would you want to invite this kind of evil into your life, you know? But sometimes you'd be like, well, you played a tough game out there. Uh, sucks that you lost a 5 3 uh, crushing game six defeat to the Detroit Red Wings. How do you feel, Jonathan Taves? He's like, I feel like shit, you know? This, I've spent my whole life training for this moment, and we fucking lost. Honestly, I played pretty well. Mostly blame our fourth line. That sucks. Uh, they really dropped the ball out there. How do you feel, Harry Neal? Right? Like, it, we, that's what we say we want. 
But then watch any time like an athlete or a celebrity makes like some honest, controversial uh, statements in the press. Everyone goes, oh, they're arrogant, you know, they're throwing their teammates, you know. No wonder that you know, athletes and, and a lot of celebrities in particular don't give their honest opinion. Should you care about a celebrity's opinion? I don't know. People are always asking you, NL, what's your favorite food? I get the curiosity of it. But it's you're going to be like, oh, Northern Lion likes pizza. Looks like I'm finally going to give it a try see what all the fuss is about. I don't know. It's a little strange, I guess. But um, you already got the, the world's greatest job, you know. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. Why invite that kind of uh, potential uh, drama into your life, I suppose? I hate this, so I'll tell you what. I am going to use a blank. And you might say that was a waste. And to a large extent, I would probably agree. But the rule... We can't open it. Uh, do we have anything that creates ice? Uh, the Molotov? Does not create ice. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, the ice breaker creates ice. It worked. It did not work. Shit. Oh well. well. I thought with the Molotov, maybe we could, I don't know. The chest probably would have burned up, but at least it would have gotten maybe something out of it. I'm still proud of that relatively quick thinking. Anyway, um, the reason I don't feel so bad about using a blank is because we do have blank companion's ring, so I should expect to uh, be able to kind of get some value out of where we had no value previously. Create blanks out of thin air, so to speak. You're not dead yet? I take that as a little surprising. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. We got six HP, six armor. That's not good. And that's that's probably very, uh, very apparent. However, it could be worse. We could have four armor, five armor, even three armor. We could have two armor or one armor. There are at least... Five other permutations of armor. That would be worse than this one. So I'm not... I'm not losing my mind yet. I'm not losing my life or losing my mind or wishing somebody would tell me I'm fine, honestly. I'm ready to... I'm ready to do what needs to be done to win here. I'm losing... So much ammo. Is this... They didn't change the Mega Hand, did they? You'd tell me if they changed the Mega Hand. It seems like it's less ammo efficient, but maybe... Maybe I'm getting concerned over nothing right now. That... Did you see my shot home? That must be the aim assist. It must not be the controller aim assist. Like I originally thought. I fucked it! Break it! Worth it. Well worth it! Sign me up to use a blank in that situation. 100 out of 100 times. Oh, fuck. I still got hit. Mind you, these enemies can suck on my dick and I hate them. But, um, I shouldn't have been hit there. That's a little embarrassing. Two hits, maybe? Three hits? Three hits. That's fine. Crazy that that guy dies in three hits. It takes two hits to kill the red bullet king. But it might be like, you know, 1.1 hits. You can, you know what I mean. We're gonna buy the armor. Proton packs I. Proton packs I. I think we're gonna get a key. That seems sensible to me. Uh, you know what? It's probably okay to buy two keys. We're gonna get enough money to buy armor on the next floor, and it's the uh, is the dragon floor. So. It's our last shot. Money becomes a little bit less of an issue, I think, at this point. Gotta get that guy taken care of early. Because I really do not want to deal with um, the bullets that follow you around, shoot bullets, and then also hurt you. I mean, like, run into you. Uh, those are quite nasty. So two keys here. Two keys is great. There's no swamps? I seem to remember in my brain of brains that there were thwomps on this room. I'm glad there's not, don't get me wrong. This is a dr dream come true, but, uh... It's, uh... It's messing with my mind a little bit here. Oh, no, 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 that's not how you use the Mega Hand. I have wrong, wrong robot arm. Oh, excuse me? 
this is one indignity too many. Mega Man is not a robot, he's a cyborg created by Dr. Light. Uh, a robot is a fully machine-based individual. Uh, on the other hand, Mega Man has human components, so if you could stop disrespecting our Lord and Savior, that would be ideal. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry! I'm Adam Sandler! I don't know what I'm doing! That was just great. That didn't... That's not fair to Adam Sandler. I will say, when we were in L.A., you know, we came back early one night. We are like, maybe we'll just put on some Netflix. You know, we're tired. Oh, poor baby's tired. Yo! What is it? We can't say we're tired now? You gotta give a shit for saying we're tired? Or, like, you know, we have a human... A basic human need for, for sleep? I didn't, you know, I didn't design the human being. I got no... No hand to play in that. Don't give me that shit. Anyway. So naturally, as one is wont to do, we put on Adam Sandler's magnum opus, The Cobbler. I've never seen it before. I watched it about 15 minutes. Expecting some so bad it's good elements. Just boring as shit. Like, I'm not talking about Jason Bourne. I'm just talking about it was boring. Yeah. I think you can actually play the drum breakdown from a Phil Collins in the air tonight, right? Do you remember? I was so close! I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh lord. I expect a super cut of that. Here, I'll try to give you a cleaner cut. Right. Do you remember? No, okay, we can do it better. Do you remember? There you go, that's perfect. It's a little too slow, but I'm not sure if I can do it better than that or crisper than that without it going full auto. Well, this is my favorite gun of the game now. What's up, Ruka? How you doing? Okay, well, this is obviously Blank City, USA. Um, we gotta be careful. Nice. I think there was a glitch recently. Oh, that's so bad. Where, um... The robot and the bullet actually had a lower dodge range, which made it impossible to actually dodge through that attack from the uh, from the the wall master here. He's not the wall master; he's the wall monger, obviously. Um, but that is not what hit me there. It must have been fixed because I've nailed that bullet twice. So I'm thinking you just fire in stinger shots. I 100% saw it, had time to think consciously. Do I want to use a blank here? I said no. I'm going to be able to move out of the way, no problem. Let, oh, let that be a lesson to you. Don't be afraid to use your blanks, kids. Find yourself in a situation like this fucking idiot right here, aka me. We still got three armor left, but that's not good. We didn't get any armor from the boss either, which is real bad. Get the Rubidine Mark II. I think it's okay. Are we fucked? I mean, I'm... I hope not, but I think we probably are fucked, yeah. So I'm gonna, you know, feel, feel the pressure to... be exciting for the rest of the run. You know, or they could be entertaining at least. Let's get the Lodestone. Blank knock back up. Hopefully this gives us an extra blank per floor as well. I don't mind buying that. Um... I think it's a reasonably okay use of our money, especially considering we've got a mild blank synergy. And we got three armor for the next floor. It's not good. But again, if we could just beat the dragon, anything can happen. I got that wild card cognitively here. You know, uh, it doesn't give us a, what, where Since when did the, this uh, is the case? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. Since when is this the case? Where when you get an ammo lid, it doesn't give you another blank? I've been under that impression for a long time. And apparently, I was an idiot for it. But you know what? The wild card thing that I was going to say is... Uh, I had that run where everything was going wrong. As the convict, it was going so badly. Oh. Forgot to account for the Coriolis effect. Really? No... Just no... Armor in there? Um... And I still won. And it looked like it was a 100% chance I would die. 
Now, that doesn't mean that I have a 100% chance to survive this. Oh, fuck. Okay. This is where it all comes down to. It's going... Oh, that was dumb. Shit's going up on YouTube one way or the other. The only question is, is it going... Like, there's no way I'm getting rid of that Phil Collins in the air tonight moment. Just remember that when you're thinking back to this video. Did I have a fun time? Well, NL's a shithead who died 29 minutes in. Yeah, but he did give you that Phil Collins moment, baby. What other YouTubers giving you Phil Collins references of this magnitude? But we've got... We've only got one thing to control for, right? The video's going up. It really just comes down to... Are you going to be embarrassed by it when it comes up? Or when it goes up? Are you going to have to apologize for it? Or are you just going to sit back and watch the fireworks? Come on, Oh, it was a good moment still. That was really bad. I apologize. Dun, 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 um, Yeah, I don't feel good about that one. We had some good... We had really good weapons. Couple fucked up flawlesses. Feels bad. Gungeon's a cruel mistress. Austin's a superhuman. You know the deal. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.